what's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be talking about track stacks so what are track stacks track stacks allows you to group tracks together and perform different functions so there are two types of track stacks there are summon stacks and there are folder stacks we'll get the folder stacks in a different tutorial but today we're going to talk about summon stacks now, normally I refer to summon stacks as just a generic name as track stacks and folder stacks. I'll either call a folder track or a folder stack. So just keep that in mind for most of this tutorial. I'll probably just say track stack and I'll be referring to a summon stack. So if you've been using logic for any amount of time and you're starting to get into using aux tracks, you know, you can set up something like a submix and a submix is where you, you change the output of a couple of tracks to a bus or an aux track and you put some effects on an aux track basically saves you the time of putting let's say an eq and a compressor on three tracks having the same settings instead of doing that and having to copy them across tracks you can change the output to a bus or aux track and put the effects on that aux track to affect the three tracks that are added to it it's referred to as a submix because the volume fader for that aux track can now be used as a master volume for the three tracks routed to it track stacks or summon stacks is a simpler way of setting this up so let's jump into the mixer and i'll show you how you can do this routing and then how simpler it is with a summon stack. Now in, trusted you, mixer, tracks, window, piano two, partially hidden, channel strip groove. All right, you see I'm on the piano two tracks. I'm gonna navigate through this. French horn, partially, trumpet, partially hidden, violin, partially hidden. So you see we got like a French horn and a trumpet and then we got a violin. The connecting violin, partially, viola, partially, hit, cello, partially hidden. And cello. So let's say I wanna put the horns together and the strings together so that I can affect them as one instrument group you know i can uh, compress them as one instrument group i can put some reverb on them as one etc etc so i'm going to go back to the trumpet track viola partially connecting vi violin partially hit, trumpet partially hidden french horn partially hidden channel strip groove let's start with the french horn track here so normally what you do in that scenario is interact with this track in french horn uh, off minus off off Z automate off stereo output send button stereo output button and you go to where it says stereo output and menu set check mark no output hyphen output submit bus submenu and you'll go down to where it says bus and you'll find a bus to route this bus, to. Bus, submenu 39 items, bus 1, right arrow, drum machine, designer, bus 2, right arrow, aux 4, bus 3, right arrow, delay, bus 4, right arrow, echo, last chorus, submenu, bus 6. All right, so bus 6 doesn't have anything next to it. So let's go ahead and route this to bus 6. Closing menu, and closing menu, bus 6, button. So now that's going to bus 6. Auto French horn, par trumpet, partially hidden, channel strip group, in trumpet, let's partially hidden, channel strip group. Off, off, minus six, off, off, zero, automate, off, stereo output, button. Once again, stereo output, and we're going to route this to bus six as well. Menu, check, no, up, high, bus, sub, menu, stereo, bus, sub, bus, 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 four, echo, last chorus, sub, bus six, right arrow, aux eight. All right, so bus six is going to aux eight now. We just routed the trumpet to bus six. So we're going to just go ahead and hit bus six here. Bus six, button. So now both of these are being routed to bus six. Auto trumpet, partially and hidden. what I'm going to do is jump to the end of this mixer and so just hit VON. In instruments, partially hidden, channel strip group. And now that I'm at the end of the mixer, I'm just going to go back through the mixer and try to find aux eight because that's the aux track that bus six is routed Echo to. Last core, master, partially, stereo out, aux eight, partially hidden, channel strip group. There we go, aux eight. In aux eight, off, solo, switch. And now if I play this. Aux 8, name, off, solo, switch, off, on, solo, switch. So you see we can solo just the French horns and the trumpets there. Off, if mute, I switch. mute this, takes them out of the mix, and, and now just put them back in. So you can affect these as a whole. Off, I'm going to solo, solo this again, off, just mute, so switch. Just so we can hear this a little better. 0, 0 decibels. Volume fader, slider. And we can adjust the volume of them as a whole as well. So I interact with this. Minus 1.0 decibel. Minus minus 3 point minus minus 5 minus See, 6 point minus 8 points minus 10 minus 12 point minus, minus, minus 6 minus 18 right. point minus 20 minus 28 minus 30 minus 5 and minus 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 3.3 decibels. Minus 2. Minus 1. Point, minus 0. 0.3 decibels. All right. So I got them pretty much back at zero. Auto and if slider. I want, I can go ahead and put a compressor or something on this bus and treat them all as one. 
but you know to save us the time we don't want to always have to come in here to the mixer and change the outputs or go into the inspector and change the outputs there is a much much quicker way to do this and that's where track stacks come in handy so what i'm going to do Auto here is stop partially interacting hidden. with group. this stereo out box eight partially hidden and i'm actually going to go ahead and delete this box track cancel button this cancel but delete anyway button so just go ahead and hit delete anyway it's basically telling us this aux track has active route in so do you want to delete it? Deselect used and continue. Default. But the selected auxiliary channel or channels receive signal from an active bus routing. Are you sure you want to delete them? Deselect yep. delete anyway. Button. Let's go ahead and delete the aux track. Now in. Trusted. I just selected the aux track in a mixer and hit the delete key. Drum. Drum. So now I'm going to go back to the French horn and trumpet tracks. Higher. Partially. Piano 2. French horn. Partially. In French horn. Interact with this. Off. Minus. Off. Off. Minus. Zero. Pan. Automation. Off. Bus 6. Button. Send button. Bus 6. Button. Then let's change these back to stereo output. Menu. Check mark. No out output. Submit. No output. Check mark. No out output. Submit. Output. Stereo out. All right, so we stereo got that going back to the stereo up. Auto French horn, trumpet, partially hidden, in trumpet, off, 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 zero, auto, bus, send button, button, send button, button, audio, send, Oops. send, bus six, off, bus six, button, menu, check, no output, output, sub menu, out, stereo output, stereo output. All right, so we got these going back to the stereo output where they were before. So I'm going to close the mixer here, and now we're in, back you, in the track head. Track four French horn, track three piano two, crew. So I'm going to select the French horn. Track four French horn. Crew. Now that I got the French horn selected, if I just do shift down arrow, it now select that trumpet track. If I do command shift G, this will put them in a summing stack for us. So command shift G. Track four sum eight. And you see it put them in a summing stack. It named it sum eight. Track five French horn. Crew. And you see we have track, track five six, trumpet. Crew. and track six trumpet. You can collapse or open a track stack with the key command option accent. Track four, some eight. So I just press option accent. And now if I move through the track headers here. Track three, piano two, group. So you see we have track three, piano two. Track four, some eight, group. Track four, some eight. Track seven, violin, group. And then track seven is violin. So you're not seeing tracks five and six. Track four, some eight, group. So I'm back on some eight. If I do option accent, it opens up the track stack or the summing stack for us. Track five, French horn, group. And now we see track five. Track six, trumpet, group. And track six, right? So let's jump back into the mixer here for a second. I'm going to do command two. Now in, trusted you, mixer, tracks, window, trumpet, partially hidden, channel strip groove. Interact with this track. In trumpet, off, minus off, off, see automation, groove, off, bus nine, button. So you see this is now being routed to bus nine. That was the next available bus. So it routed to bus nine. So instead of saying stereo output, these are now being routed to bus nine. If I go to the Auto trumpet, part, French horn, partially hidden, French horn, in French horn, off, 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 the autumn, off, bus nine, button. See that's also being routed to bus nine. Auto French horn, partially hidden, and sum eight, partially hidden. If I go to the sum eight track, in sum eight, setting, off, 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 input, but audio plug in, but input, button. Uh, let me full screen this window here. Space with output stereo, bus nine, button. You see the input is going to bus nine. And now we can put effects on this track. Audio plug in, button, audio plug in, And button. it will affect both the trumpet and the uh, French horns as one. Some and name. Name. I just press VON to jump to the end of the channel strip here. Disclosure, expanded, disclosure off, solo, switch. Much like before, we can solo or mute these. So... <laughs> And I can mute them. And that just took them out of the mix. So you can see the summon stack is a much, much easier, quicker way to get some tracks grouped together, go into the same bus so that you can affect them as one, control them as one, kind of have a submix fader to turn them up or down as one, solo mute them as one, or put effects on them as one. So that is where the summing stack comes in useful. I am going to go ahead and close the mixer. Group now in, trusted you. So we're back in the Space channel script here. Pro containing window, trusted you. Track seven, violin, group. Track six, trumpet, group. And now I'm going to collapse this track stack. Track four, some eight. And I want to rename this. So I'm going to do shift return like you would to rename any other track. And I'm just going to name this horns bus. So shift return. Some eight. Content selected. Select horns all R and S. Horns. B U S. Bus. All right. So now we know that's the horns bus. So we can call it horns stack or something like that. Track seven violin. Group. So now I'm going to put all these strings in a track stack of their own. This time, instead of doing shift down arrow, I'm going to do VO command return on each of these. So that way we know how many tracks we're selecting. Because when you do shift down arrow, it doesn't speak. So if you do VO command return on each track that you want, 
you can select multiple tracks and it's great because you can select non-contiguous tracks though in this case the tracks i'm going to be selecting will be right next to each other so i'm um, on the first track i want so i'm going to do VO command return track seven violin group added to selection one item selected all right so you see one item selected so i'm going to VO down arrow to the next track i want to add track eight connecting violin group VO command return again. track eight connecting violin selected group added to all selection right. two items selected so now you hear two items selected so VO down arrow again track nine viola group track VO seven violin return and track 10 cello group track 10 cello via command track seven violin and now that we got the four tracks we want if i do command shift g track put seven, them nine. all in a track stack some nine if i do option accent it collapses it so now when i do vo down arrow track 15 vocal chorus one group you see we go to vocal chorus track 14 harmony for verse two group. track 13 harmony for verse one track 12 vocal verse group track seven some nine group so track seven is some nine track 12 vocal verse group and track 12 is vocal verse track seven some nine so group. if i option accent on this to expand it again track eight violin group you see we get the violin track nine connecting violin group track 10 viola track 11 cello group all right so we got all of those in that track stack so we do option accent to collapse it track seven some nine all right so once again i'm going to rename this so shift return some nine content selection edit this select t r i f g s strip b u s bus all right and so that's how you can create track stacks and that's what track stacks are useful for summon stacks in this particular case are useful for so once again you just select the tracks you want you press command shift g to put them in a summon stack and then you can rename that summon stack the same way you name any other track in your project with shift return also you can use option accent to collapse or expand those track stacks for you and option accent is a logic keyboard ninja key command so if you're not using the logic keyboard ninja key commands you want to use command control right arrow to open them and command control left arrow to collapse them that's the default logic key command to expand and collapse the track stack i just assigned it to one key that toggles them open and close and option accent is what I'm using to do that. Thanks for checking this out and thanks to Sarin for letting me use her project. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and voiceover. As always, everyone, until next time, happy recording.